Hey everyone, my name is Erica and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my Notion. Um, this is a tool I've been using for a little bit, very well, I've been building it for a couple weeks now. It's officially done and I'm able to actually use it and it's just been so great. It's quick and easy to use, everything's at a glance. And it's taken all of my journals and all my sticky notes that are all over my office and put it into one place. And that was a big, big thing for me. Um, uh, like I said, it's just, it's very simple to use, simple to put together. Um, I built this over the course of a couple weeks because I wanted to fine tune the functionality of it. And it's done. So let's take a look. The top section that we have here is my purchase lists. These are all mini databases that are connected to um, other databases such as fragrance, supplies, and colorants. Um, when I started this, I honestly had all of the all of the different types of things I purchased in their own databases, and. It ended up being like seven different databases, like supply purchase lists, and that was just too messy. The whole purpose behind Notion is to be simple, streamlined, clean. So I kind of, not kind of, well, I actually did um, put all my supplies, like my oils, packaging, shipping, things like that, into the supplies list. And then I have one for my colorants, and I have one for my fragrances. Um, and it made these nice and tidy. And it's so satisfying to see. At a glance at the beginning of the day, I know I'm, I need to order these things. And yeah, and as things come up to purchase, let's say for instance, a fragrance oil that I use and I have no more and I have the empty bottle, I will sit it on my desk. And then once, you know, at the end of the day, I start looking around my messy desk. <laughs> That's the next thing I need to kind of streamline and clean up, I guess. Um, I'll take this information and put it into my Notion like this. Let's see. Oh, there's Huckleberry Harvest right there. We're going to put in. Oh, let's try this one. Uh, Mistletoe and Ivy. Let's hope I spelled that correctly. I did. Go me. <laughs> Usually it was like 10 typos. Um, I don't have mistletoe and ivy in my fragrance database, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new page for that. And there it is. So let's, let's pop one in here that is in the database to show you what it looks like. So let's say I need more teak wood and rum. I go ahead and click this. Now all the information that is pulled, all the information from that database gets pulled into this database. So Teak Wood and Rum, the company is Candle Science. Uh, well, not most of the information that's in the fragrance database um, will flow over to this database because that it's kind of how I configured it. So when I click on this, whoops, it's going to open up a page which I don't need. Um, I'm going to click out of here since I already clicked it. Take wood and rum, populate, candle science, auto populates because of how I have it configured here. And then I have a, a purchase checkbox list, which works with the filter. When I say I go and I actually go purchase this, I click on it and it disappears. However, it doesn't disappear. You have to go into this database that's located over here and actually clean up that database because it's just going to keep collecting information. It hides it, let's put it that way. So same thing with supplies and same thing with colorants. Um, and yeah, it, it streamlined this whole process so well that I have actually not only saved money, I've saved time because I'm not stressing out, frantically looking for something when I when I decide to go to these websites and purchase something, I have a quick look at what I need and I go and buy it. So next, after that top section, we have oops, the quick business links. Um, it's just links to individual pages that I need quick access to. 
I'm a scrolly kind of person and not so much like clicky, I guess. <laughs> so I like having my uh, quick links here on my dashboard instead of going hovering over here and trying to find the individual link there. So what we have here is product photos. That is a gallery view of my inventory with pictures. Um, we'll, we'll go into these uh, in a little bit. I just kind of want to give you a uh, review of my dashboard. Uh, inspo photos, things I find on the internet, and I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I want to remember that, and I just kind of toss the photos in there. Um, this is um, a link to all my databases that all of these databases are linked to. Business balance calculator. Um, I haven't started this yet. I'm going to start it this month. <laughs> and keep a hold of my income and expenses um, content creating this was another big huge thing for me um, i struggle with content creating and keeping journals together and my ideas jotted down I, I have notes and things all over my office with ideas and i just i lose them so i created content creating page right here uh, fragrance usage and I forgot what else is, I forgot what else that one says. Let's see. That one says fragrance usage and rates and products. This is a database that has several other databases related to it. Um, and we'll take a look at that in a few. And just archive. Anytime I jot something down somewhere and I just don't want to see anymore, I just kind of toss in the archive page. Um, here we have my to-do calendar um, keeps my social media posting organized, uh, YouTube recording videos organized, when I need to do it, when I need to post, um, products and things like that, when I need to make them, uh, when I need to post my promos. This is this task to do has is primarily just social media posting. Um, occasionally, I'll have a design seasonal product promo to do. And, and so I'll jot that down on this to do. And the reason it's here is because a really fabulous part of Notion is you can drag and drop things into calendars, into boards, and into tables, and, and which is phenomenal. So I can do a quick, let's do wholesale catalog. And let's see, my third week looks pretty light. So I can grab this and just toss it into a day. And then when that happens, it actually auto populates a date on this card for this item. And then when I'm like, ah, I'm not going to do that. I'll do it later. I just toss it in the archive. Um, oh, look, I already, I already put the uh, catalog there. So yeah, it's great. This is a very powerful tool. You can say, oh, well, I don't really want to do the catalog that long. Oops. You can shrink it down to a couple of days, get yourself back organized, make it realistic. So the next little database or um, quick view database here is my product progress calendar. Labeled it as a calendar. However, it's in a table view because I did have a calendar until I built this calendar. And I'm like, I don't want two calendars. <laughs> I mean, one, and I made this one into a table view, which works out fine. This is the database of all databases. This is, I would say, I guess, top tier database. So this is, this database connects a lot of other databases together. So I have a very quick view of my project, when I'm supposed to be prepping it, and I didn't. Um, <laughs> The priority, if I'm running low, if I'm out of stock, I label it as priorities. The product is Bahama Smoothie, or, you know, it's labeled here. This is a relation to uh, my fragrance oil, fragrance usage and rates and products database. The type that I need to make, because Bahama Smoothie is just not a soap for me, it's a wax melt and a bath bomb. So I wanted to make sure I specified what I needed to make. My status is not started on everything because I've been laxy daisy lately. And if I want to film that, and that's coming up, that is part of my content creation database as well. So now this is a quick view of what I need to do, what I need to get started, and where everything is at. So with this, say 
which is nice fresh and clean I went ahead and start prepped it and I'm going to click on prep and I know where it's at so I know when I go over to that table back back behind me I know why that big bucket of oil is sitting there <laughs> yeah it, let's move on um, content creating ideas and this should have this is missing something here so let me just put this in so content creating ideas this was one of the biggest things I wanted my notion to do two specific things uh, purchase lists which you saw before and content creating this took so much of so many journals so many notes so many sticky notes everywhere and I have one area that I can see quickly and figure out what I want to post so concrete con, con blah, 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 blah. <laughs> little tongue-tied the content creating ideas is just a jot down uh, at, at the moment kind of oh let's make a YouTube about this and I'll just say make cat shaped soap whoopsie there we go and let's see promo video behind the scenes so when I need to create something and I'm just out of ideas this typically is full of things I can just pick from and create um, one of the biggest things that caught my attention besides all of this is the fact that it's this notion is compatible with all devices because it's a website so when I'm on the go and I'm traveling with my family and I'm like oh that'd be a great YouTube video I can jump into my notion on my phone type it in the content creating ideas Monday and come back and be like yeah that was a good idea and put it into the idea section down below same thing with Instagram and TikTok. these are the three that I really post to the most Facebook mm -mm. Twitter never so that's why there's only these three categories um, so now down below this I have content YouTube content creating boards um, this just shows that it's a relation to the actual database um, in the side this all keeps me organized on the status of the, the film that I want to record as you can see here uh, research outline notion tour I can move that because I'm actually doing that right now I'm doing filming and so on and so forth and these are all the ideas that I'm like oh I'm actually pretty interested in making these so like before what I do with these ideas instead of having to retype it out I drop it down to new and it automatically populates one of the cards and the idea became a title instantly and the default would be uh, idea because that's the category I stuck it under video genre would be behind the scenes publish date let's uh, do the 10th uh, product progress this is if it's tied to an actual item I make this is behind the scenes not going to be populated don't need it then we have down here the templates that I use this one specific for YouTube so it I have it set up so I can click on that template and I can sit here and fill this out when I have a few minutes uh, any thoughts anything that I can think of that I would want to add to the YouTube title topics tags research affiliate links which is important and description same thing with Instagram and TikTok. these are these templates are you know, set up specifically for these social media so when we look here it's all different what kind of post do I want to make do I want to post a quote did I find a photo that's fun? Do I want to do a fun facts? So on and so forth. And then TikTok is just, well, it's TikTok. So tags, topics, affiliate links, trends, description. Um, I should put trend as well. And what kind of video genre, 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 blah. what kind of, you know, what I'm talking about, um, do I want to choose from? And these are kind of um, the basics and yep yeah, that's pretty much it that's the dashboard I go top to bottom every day make sure I got everything covered I don't need to order anything just yet 
So let's go into these quick links. I don't think I'm going to go into all of them. Definitely going to go into database and fragrance use. Product photos. Like I said, these it's just kind of like a dumping ground for my photos. I take photos with my phone. I jump on a notion. I make a new tile for the gallery view. And then you have all of the information when I get to my computer. I can go back to SoapMaker 3 and fill out this information here. What do I have on a property? That must, that's nothing. Status. Okay. Well, apparently I still need to finish these two here. But then I have the photo. So I can right click, save, take it into my, my photo editing program and take care of it from there. So yeah, uh, this is all my seasonal products, by the way, which are for sale, by the way, again. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We'll go back. Inspo photos. Like I said before, it's just photos I find on the internet that I like. I just toss it in there for a future reference. We'll go to databases. Uh, this is where it took the most time, but it's absolutely worth it because in the long run, I've saved so much time and money because of this. All of these databases are linked to other databases, which flow into another database, which gives me those quick views that you saw on my dashboard. So this one has all the websites that I purchased from and local areas like I get my olive oil from Costco. So I would put local Costco, my, my supply, Mad Micah's da database. I label this Mad Micah's database because I pretty much only buy my Micah's from Mad Micah's. One, they're across the state from me. I get my orders pretty quick. And two, there is no other reason. Well, that, I take that back. Fabulous colors. Like this one right here, I keep on my table. Tahitian deal. <laughs> so anyways, Mad Micah's database, the name, what is it suitable for? the quick link, do I need to restock it, the color family, and then ingredients, and then I have notes. Like, uh, what is that one notorious one? There's one that like, oh, it's like taxi cab. I'll just, let's see, taxi cab, taxi, there it is. Um, to R -N -G, then back to what you know. Uh -oh. oh, no typos, that's good. That way I can say, oh, this, this one, you know, don't, don't fret because I know it morphs the orange and comes back. Uh, greens do that too. Let's see, back to databases. Oh, real quick, the Mad Mac is database. Y'all can have it. I have this one set up to grab. It's a free database that's already obviously set up for you. Just go to the link in the description box below and you can grab it there. Fragrance database. This was a beast to make this one. I, this was my, my sole purpose for notion was to get all this information in here. This was a beast to make. I'm still not done yet. I have my, many, many more fragrance oils to use. Um, I'm going to add another tab here. Um, whether I've used it recently in the last six months or if I've used it in the last three months or whatever. And if it's selling, if not at the end of the year, I can just not buy it anymore. So yeah, the scent, the actual scent name, the company, the website, is it year round or is it seasonal? Cause I do have seasonal scents. Do I need to restock this? Yes or no. Um, and then I can sort either from company or however I want to see it. Let's see supply list. This one was daunting as well. Um, because there's, there's so many to input and I was really concerned about how long this was going to take me to do. Fortunately enough, because I had everything already in SoapMaker 3, I was able to download it as, as um, a spreadsheet and upload it to Notion and I was done. There are a couple of duplicates and I had to tweak it here and there, but everything else was fine. Now I'm associating um, avocado oil to the website that I purchased or if it's local. That way when it flows over to my product progress, I know where I've got it and so on and so forth. And this is everything. And this database is also linked to my supply list database or not really database, but supply list to purchase. And then here's the database for product product 
product progress. <laughs> um, as you can see, what we typed in before, cat shaped soap, is here. It automatically populates. Um, and these are all my other ones I need to make. Um, do I want to prep this? I'll prep this next week. Uh, priority, not really a priority. Not a product yet. Status, not started. Type, hmm. Don't know. Oh, I know. Soap. And then it's associated with the film, make cat shape. So that way I know to record it. And yeah, let's see what else. And that's pretty much it. We have individual, or we have the link databases down here for obviously product, product, product progress and so on and so forth that show up on the dashboard. And yeah, that's pretty much my day. This is my notion. This has taken a lot off my plate, a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety of having to remember what to order and when to purchase and so on and so forth. So there you have it. That is my Notion tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, it wasn't too hard to build and I believe everyone can do it. It's, it's a very simple process once you get the hang of it. I watched many YouTube tutorials over the past couple weeks trying to figure out how to do this and how I want it to function for myself. I do have this Notion available for purchase. All the links to purchase and to pick up that Mad Micah's database will be in the description uh, box below. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to see something built or you just want to say hi. That's great too. And subscribe for more videos. Of course, you got to do that, right? You don't got to, but it would be nice if you did. So I appreciate your time and thanks for watching. See ya.